it did call you numerously but your phone was off are we rolling so that QG can get this ah <laughs> pana so we are back and we are at this spot called Shalom now Shalom used to be one of my favorite pizza pizza stops because it's right on the road and up to Karen there's no pizza place apart from down Gong Road so it's on Gong Road um, it's called Shalom house there's a little Italian restaurant that's right on the side and you can't miss it they serve everything Italian pasta pizza so today we're gonna to be trying their pasta and their pizza <music> Okay. <laughs> I'm talking am I no because we're waiting for the food I was gonna say something then <laughs> then I realized you might just get that so <laughs> we have ordered um, house special the house special and a seafood pasta now the seafood pasta is my I love seafood you guys know that so it's one of my absolute favorite pastas now this place is classical italian you've got all the pastas whatever uh, raviolis the penis the, the you know the spaghetti whatever it is that, uh, that you need um, from your pasta you can order and decide you know what i want to switch it up i want to add a little bit of something something in there so i actually don't know the name of this place i've never known the name of this place it's called la, uh, la rena restaurant yeah and it's like I told you, right off Ngong Road, you'll see Shalom House. That's exactly where it is. So we're waiting for the chef um, to make the pasta. And then they've got the clay oven right behind here. So it's going to be the traditional pizza. Um, and I just can't wait to dig in and tell you how, how good it is. Let's wait. Let's eat. Hashtag Claire eats. Oh, her nice sauces. Thank you so much. I've always loved the way um, they serve uh, the um, chilies in the in the olive oil and the garlic and all. So if you just want extra garlic, just know you're gonna have lots of it. You know, just stuff that sprinkle that all over your pizza. And if you, you love chili, you can sprinkle the olive chili. I mean, olive oil and chili right on your pizza as well. We wait for the food now, and then we eat. Food. Eat. <laughs> That's it? That, that's all you got? That's all you got? Okay, you're hungry. This thing is actually very nice because then the olive oil like makes the chili satolish. Satolish. And then the olive oil then has soaks in all that flavor. It's pretty good. If he's gonna break it, right? <laughs> you just clean, clean, clean. Are those your nails? Yeah, these are my nails. Mm -hmm. I don't do fake. <laughs> hair which I buy so practically mine you know <laughs> you know us women you know if you buy it it's yours so, so you like weaves and things yeah I do put on weaves I've never tried a wig though but then I buy actually I did put on a wig once I was acting when you're as a acting. chick yeah. but George you like to enact women a lot yeah Not you're really. good with it no what do you mean the last time you got hit on when you did so yeah that's that's the one and only time <laughs> okay. I was hit on are you proud of that or you think that now you know? No, if God made me a chick, I think I would still get it. Okay. <laughs> Waiting for the pizza now. Imagine Q as a chick. <laughs> <laughs> it will get none. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> yeah, okay. Okay. I mean, I've seen him, I've seen him do that thing. <laughs> <laughs> what thing? I'm not going to do it on camera. Yeah, I know he's going to put it. No. Child. Mm -mm. Thank you. Oh, yes. This is practically like um, a starter, but I can bet you. This is for guys to, you know, um, they call it the focaccia. It's a starter. So while you're waiting for your pizza or your pasta or whatever it is that you've ordered, you guys can just bite into this and it pairs, Katra told me it pairs perfectly with the garlic and the chili. So Katra told me that. Now, like I said, this is a starter. So I'm just gonna sprinkle a bit of that olive oil with garlic 
and a little bit of the one with chili because I do like chili but it's optional if you don't want to have chili in your starter if you're you know sharing with a lot of people then that's fine and I'll just get a nice I know it's usually very crunchy and then you've got um, the salsa kachumbari right on there mm. perfectly cooked through and she was right that garlic with the olive oil just does the trick and this is absolutely delicious and the good thing is that you can fill your stomach up with that as you wait for the for your main meal with your friends that's right here and i did find out why they called it la, la arena that's because the, the the owner named it after the coliseum well you know uh so that's why the place is called la arena still the whole italian feel take thing going on which is pretty cool i'm just going to take a little more of that mm-hmm that's beautiful.